Hello everyone, welcome to another beautiful problem in mathematics. This one is from Algebra. It is suitable for ISI CMI entrances and mathematical Olympiads such as IOQM American Math Competitions, UKMT and so on. So what this problem says is, if you divide x to the power 100 by x squared minus 3x plus 2, what is the remainder? So the question is about the remainder. Okay, so how do we, how do we solve this problem? So as usual, we will learn some concept while solving this problem. And this particular concept is called remainder theorem. The remainder theorem. And there is a side concept called the division algorithm. All of these are useful for mathematical Olympiad preparation and ISI CMI entrance preparation. If you are interested in these things, check the link in the description for more details. We are very passionate about mathematical sciences. We have outstanding programs for it since 2010. I'm sure you'll like it. Check the link in the description. So let's start with this problem. We are dividing x to the power 100 by x squared minus 3x plus 2. How are we going to go about it? Well, the first thing is, if you divide any polynomial by a quadratic, the remainder, the remainder is a linear, a linear function in x. Linear function in x what that means is it's the it's something times x plus something so maybe it's like this ax plus b so the highest power of x in the remainder is x to the power one why is that because if you had x square or higher in the remainder you could further divide it right because you're dividing it by a quadratic so if you have a power of two or more, then you can again divide by that quadratic. So the highest power of x in the remainder is x raised to one. All right, so let's write it is using the division algorithm. What is a division algorithm? Well, it's simply Dividend, so the stuff that you are dividing is divisor times quotient plus remainder. And this thing works very nicely, works very nicely for numbers, works very nicely for algebraic expression. I'll give you an example. Suppose if you divide 17 by 2 then if you want to want to write it in this particular form you can write 17 as 2 times 8 plus 1 so 17 is the dividend 2 is the divisor 8 is the quotient 1 is the remainder right okay so that's great so if you understand this much then let's go ahead and write x to the power 100 as x squared minus 3x plus 2 times some quotient plus the remainder and we already know that the remainder is some ax plus b this is the remainder so if we are able to find a and b then we will be done all we need to find is to find a and b so how do we go about it well this is the funny uh, like the trick in some sense so you have to factorize this and make this part zero okay if you do that you will get some equations in a and b and then you can solve for a and b let's see how we can do that so x square minus 3x plus 2 can be factorized as x minus 2 times x minus 1. 
So we have times the quotient plus ax plus b is equal to x to the power 100. So if you plug in x equals to 1 here, you will get 1 to the power 100 equal to 1 minus 2, 1 minus 1, q of 1 plus a times 1 plus b. I just replace every x by 1. So notice, most usefully, this particular part becomes 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. So what you have is 1 equals to a plus b. So you have one equation in a and b. Let's find out the other equation. So we can now replace x by 2. So again we will have 2 to the power 100 equals to 2a plus b. I just replace every x by 2. If I replace every x by 2, here we will have 2 to the power 100. This part will become 0 and this part will be 2a plus b. So we have a plus b equals to 1 and 2a plus b equals to 2 to the power 100. So now we have two equations and two variables we can find out the value of a and b. For example, if I subtract equation 2, if I subtract equation 1 from equation 2, if I do that, I get a equals to 2 to the power 100 minus 1. So as a challenge, I ask you to find out what is the value of b and then find the final remainder. Can you put that in the comment section? I hope you are doing beautiful mathematics every day. If you are a student of Chinta, then I strongly recommend that you attend all the five problem solving classes every week. The success at Chinta at ISICMI entrances or IOQM or American math competitions are from those problem solving classes. So apart from the concept class and homework class, you should try to attempt as many of the problem solving classes every week as possible. All right. Okay. So that sounds really nice. Thank you for joining in today. I will see you in the next video. Keep on doing good mathematics. All right. Bye.